Hello and welcome to this presentation about the validation of our lifelong collaborative learning tool that we released some time ago, which is called Daphne. My name is Francesco Santini and I am from Basel. I have no conflict of interest to disclose and this presentation is released under a CC BY 4.0 license, so you can redistribute it if you like. Segmentation is a very important uh, step in muscle imaging because a lot of quantitative methods rely on good segmentation. It is time consuming to do manually and it's also hard to train good models because the legs have, uh, or any muscle has a deformable geometry, different appearance depending on the disease. And also it's hard to get a good number of data sets because the diseases are rare. So getting a representative samples of the subject is not easy. Typically, to perform segmentation, a large number of data sets is collected, which is then annotated by a person. And these annotations and the data are used to create a model, which is then deployed and applied to new segmentation tasks. This has a disadvantage that uh, the model is as good as data that it has as input. and uh, um, it is static and cannot adapt to uh, new input information. What we advocate for is a continuous incremental learning approach where we start with a small pre-trained model on very few data sets, which is then already deployed to the user. The user then uh, checks and refines every segmentation that uh, comes from this initial model. And uh, with this refined segmentation, we can uh, improve the model through incremental learning and this improved model can then be made available again to the next user, which will then build upon what uh, uh, has been done uh, by the previous one. This is how our free software Daphne works. You can get Daphne at the website daphne.network, and it's a very nice uh, interface for the segmentation, which includes also uh, models for the automatic segmentation of the thigh and of the leg. In uh, Daphne, uh, you refine the segmentation proposed by the models, uh, and then uh, it takes care of improving the model for you and sending it back to the server so that uh, your data is uh, uh, your data privacy is preserved, and you can uh, continuously improve the model. But the main question we want to answer today is: uh, Does Daphne work? So we validated it on 38 local data sets. And this data set had a contrast that was different from the contrast that the initial Daphne models were trained upon. They were T1 weighted images of the calf. And we're also presenting 80 months of usual statistics, which uh, collect data from more than 600 uh, data sets uh, segmented by users all over the world. In this case, we are presenting them as dice cores collected both for the thigh and for the calf models. For the local validation, we use 25 data sets for the training of the model in an incremental fashion so that uh, with each data set, uh, uh, the model could adapt to the new contrast. When analyzing the performance of all the models over time, over these 25 data sets, we saw that overall it was significantly increasing. We then applied the models on the remaining 13 sets, and we saw that again we had a significant increase, although with a slightly smaller coefficient, uh, which means that even on completely new data sets with a similar uh, contrast, uh, the model could uh, improve its performance. This is a plot of the real world data acquired, and uh, as you can see here on the bottom, uh, there is uh, uh, a behavior of how the user base grew over the months and on the top part is the collected dice cores with a moving average and we see that there is an initial decrease in the dice cores when the users brought new data sets with new contrasts and new resolution and new acquisition modalities in in the model and then the model adapted to this uh, new kind of data and improved its performance again. And a similar behavior was observed also in the Thai data set. This is what uh, uh, the segmentation looks uh, uh, before and after a few months of training by users all around the world. And as you can see that especially in the T1 weighted images, 
there is a very remarkable improvement in the segmentation. In conclusion, we saw that our approach, that these continuously changing models uh, uh, trained incrementally by uh, users everywhere in the world, is a valid model for uh, uh, accurate segmentation and can help uh, in uh, performing this task. Uh, this incremental and distributed learning approach can learn new contrast and improve quality of the overall model. You can find all the analysis on GitHub and also you can download Daphne at daphne.network website. Finally, I would like to give you a sneak preview of what is coming. We are working on a generic model trainer where you can just give a few data sets that are segmented by yourself and a new model can be generated so that your you can extend Daphne with different uh, body parts and different characteristics. I would like to thank my collaborators and my group and thank you very much for your attention.